Yeah. Dumb. Thank you, Rigby. All right, so I'm going to walk by. Hold on. There you go. See if he's nice. Thank you, Rigby. Good boy. That's it. Don't worry about saying too much more. So you can, when he looks, when he turns his head to the right, you can offer him that treat. I'm going to walk back. Are you having fun, Rigby? Thank you, Rigby. You feel better. So now that he let me walk by, I'm going to take a step out and then walk by. Tell him, thank you, Rigby. Thank you, Rigby. That's all right, thank you. Thank you, Rigby. Thank you, Rigby. Offer him a, when, he, when he's looking towards this way, you can offer him a treat. Okay, just hold it there. So um, thank you, and then go ahead and walk. Thank you. That way? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Go ahead and have him stop. Good stop. Stop in front of a house of the dog park. Of course. Go ahead and walk across the street, Tom. Let's go right. Go ahead and walk up this way. Oh, Norma, go ahead and walk up towards me. Oh, whoops. Got people coming. Yeah, go ahead and walk towards me. Let's see, okay, that's good. He wants to leave, say good, let's go this way. Okay, let's go this way. Because he actually started walking across the street first. He doesn't have a good street presence. Like he, he'll just wa wander across <laughs> the street. <laughs> Tom, thank you, Rigby. Thank you, Rigby. Tom, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and keep the leash extremely loose. And go ahead and come back across the street. And then go ahead and go turn left. So let's go left. Go left, buddy. And just go towards those palm trees. So I'm good. Let's go left. Go ahead and walk down this way. And then go ahead and stop. Thank you, Thank you, Rigby. Now go ahead and walk back up to Eric. A lot of times he'll stop, and then uh, when he comes, when he actually will look back at me, then that's when I uh, give him his little reward. <laughs> 
And you can always, when you have say stop, you can always put the treat by your right leg so he wants to come back. Tell him, let's go. That's all right. Aim high for that one, buddy. And go ahead and have him stop. And then go ahead and walk across the street again to the right. Okay, so now that you're over here, now I want you to put the treat, tell him thank you. Thank you. Give him a treat. Look at the dogs and the people. There's a jogger coming down a little bit. So I hear him. And then go ahead and walk towards the ambulance. Tell him, let's go. Stop. All those sounds are a little much. What I was going to do is have you play with him over here. Hold on, stop. Don't go anywhere else. Wait for him to come back to you. In fact, there you go. Have him come back. Kneel down. Because this is where we're going to comfort him. Because he wants to leave. Don't give him any more slack. Let him come back. Don't say anything else. Norma, stay there because I want him to come to you. Go ahead and kneel down. And now he hears Bell. He's taking in, processing it. Now reel in the leash. Reel the leash in. Stay there. No, kneel down. Yeah, he's whining too. Well, when he comes over to you, just keep reeling it in because what we want him to do is hang... This is him going to seek you out. So when he comes over closer to you, this is where you're going to comfort. Because he's trying to leave. Because he's trying to leave to go home. Or the ambulance, I'm not sure yet, but he knows he's trying to get away. But we have to do it together. So go ahead, now that he's closer, go ahead and see the kisses. Yep, he's asking for comfort. So just gently, nicely, calmly, I got you, buddy. And do the side, don't put your face too close. Just do the side from the shoulder down because the head gets pretty sensitive in, in high stress situations. And say, are you ready? See what that does? That reduces some of the stress right there. Another Mustang. You guys have a lot of the Mustangs in this neighborhood, huh? It's because I'm here. I'm not a big Mustang fan, so they're all showing up in droves. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, one of our neighbors uh, around the block actually. This should be a little easier. And we'll get to that corner again. Here comes a cyclist in front of you on our side of the road. You smell Belle you smell and Blue. Belle? You smell Blue? You smell Dog. And there's people across the street. So, um, thank you. Let's go. Now, the cyclist stops, so be careful. We'll keep an eye on that. Because he has shown interest in the... So, I'm good. Let's go. And then probably right about... Because you got people coming up behind you across the street. So right about there is a good spot. And then you can go into their driveway. So let's go. There you go. And just stop right there. It's all right. No more treats. Tell him, hold on. Because what he's doing is he's processing it. Because we want him to process it. We don't want to rush anything. We want him to take it all in. And then you can go use, well, what I want to kind of do is that corner where we were at, uh -huh. use that as a safe spot. Okay. So we can, because we've already had the distraction. Hold on, not yet. Oh. We've already had the distraction of the people talking up there. There was somebody coming down, and he wanted to leave right after that. And, of course, you know, and me, that stress. But at least he'll know he'll be able to come back home. So we can go there and just go rest. Say, let's go. And then go ahead and stop.
and we'll just just hang out. When he looks for you, that's when we'll give him the treats. Coming back. See if you can call him. Thank you, Rigby. Tell him I see him. And when I walk by, I say, I see him. That way he understands, like, if it's me. It's just acknowledging. It doesn't mean much to him right now, but it's if he's looking. Hold on. The tail dropped a little bit more. Go ahead and have a seat. So I want to see what he's going to do. There we go. See, him coming in is what I want. He's... And go ahead and pet him. Pet his back and his shoulder. Because I want him to get more comfort from hanging out with you than actually everything else going around. And what this does is it lets him process and know that you guys are doing this together. I'm going to come up to... I'm gonna go out a little bit to the right and then come up where that point of that shadow is, right here. As soon as I get there, say, Scott, stop, okay? If ideally he doesn't, isn't trying to be interested too much, but at least that way he's gonna hear you and then he's gonna see that you're taking care of the situation. So if he looks and he sees me coming up, you're gonna be able to be the one to say, Scott, stop. Right now, tell him. Tell him, thank you, Rigby. Thank you, Rigby. Thanks, Rigby. Thank you. And then what you can do is say, Rigby, over here. There we go. And that way he can understand that what that does is you're protecting him. And it gives you, teaching you the power of, it's a polite way of saying, no, don't come near my dog. Because he's already here relaxing. Well, don't give him so many. <laughs> Because we don't want, and I've got, there's sh treats on top of my ambulance, on the hood. That little side right there. He's, what he's doing, this is letting him process anything that's happening right now. I mean, we've already had a busy, when he settled a little bit, take the, drop the, don't drop the leash 100%, but give him as much leash as possible. And on your own, say, let's go home and then get up and walk, then get up and walk away. They gotta process it, whether it's smelling and looking, they gotta figure out what it is. That's him processing the information. And then watch it, the fun part's watching his ears, because if you say something, the one ear might twitch to the right a little bit, depending on where you're standing, which means he's listening and he can hear you. And so that when he looks over at this lady behind me, just say, I see her. Now. So, thank you, Rigby. So we want a reward for him looking away in these kind of situations. So thank you, Rigby. Sorry, say all right, ready? Let's go home. Okay, let's go home. Let's go home. Drop your right hand. Le yeah, right hand. See how it's a lot looser now? And then go home. And then do the same thing. See if you'll kneel. When you get there, get to the driveway in the safe spot. Kneel down. Let him come to you. Do the comfort. See how close he'll get to you. So when he comes into you like that, that's really what we want. So this is dropping the stress. This is, re this is tri uh, uh, reducing the triggers that he has. Yeah. Seeking so seeking comfort is very important. Yeah. <laughs> and we do this home. What I, want that, what I want to do eventually too when we go for a walk is find spots safe that you guys can do this as well. 
when he settles and gets that little bit of that sigh, yeah. then go ahead and just kind of jog around, bounce around, let him bounce around with you. If he jumps on you, great. Not ideal, but I, I want him to try and get his stress out with you. Yeah, do it here. Do it both. Because this, what it's going to do is he's going to learn that he can take his stress out in a re real situation. Not just wait for it at home because that's going to reduce. That's going to just. I can't wait for vacation. My whole week sucks until the weekend happens. <laughs> this, this, even though it's just a walk, however long you go, getting into the yard is his, vac is his weekend. His weekend can be here. His weekend can be in the middle of the street. When we take our walks, we don't want it to be like. Oh, an hour, and then go home and relax. So go ahead and play with him now. Kind of bounce, or do it with actually more comfort. Kneel down. Because he's interested and he's curious, but he's not sure. I'm okay with him being interested, but he doesn't have to go see it without you. And sometimes, like, let's say a dog is walking by and he's doing pretty good. Dog pees on that over there, right? And then walks on. Wait a couple minutes and then take him over to go pee. See, he's already saying, nope, I'm done. Play with him right now. They get you. No, I don't want to. I want to do it inside. <laughs> That's good. He's doing... If I'm inside, I'll put him in a sit, and I'll go to the other end. Yeah. here, and he'll come charging up to me. Yep, getting that extra energy out. That's right. We'll take him in. But just letting it, by repeating this constantly, he's going to start realizing he can play. So stop. Hold it right there. Say, so ready to go inside? So I'm good. Let's go. He knows that one. Perfect. <laughs>